Da -na 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 -na. Welcome. I don't even have to do that anymore. Welcome to Coco Sports Dream number two. The booking of our first card. What is Coco Sports Dream? It is Total Extreme Wrestling 2013 uh, booking simulator, booking let's play, and we're acting as if the podcast Coco Sports, the YouTube guys, won a million dollars in the lottery, and what we would do for you know what we'd do as a company. We decided we're going to run on Monday nights because all our athletes are mostly free on Monday nights. And we decided to name the show Monday Night Revolution because, you know, go head to head against Raw. And yeah, so there you go. And our next show is Five Days Away. The last, if you go back and watch Coco Dream number one, we, uh, we got our signings done. We added a few more signings, but, you know, we'll talk about that later. But we do have uh, to book a show. So, are, are you ready to book this show? And, oh, I'm joined by Rob. Rob will be, I'll be doing most of the talking. Rob will be doing most of the playing. I'm glad Rob, you remembered I was here. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I could go and I'm like, I, You know, the funny part is, if I could actually control, because Rob's the one recording this, if I could actually control playing, I probably would have forgot. Like, wow. Okay. You son of a bitch. So, <laughs> Terry Funk is our owner, and those that watch the podcast, we know Terry Funk is God. And we got a message. Kenny King, oh, Kenny yeah. King will be available to start work tomorrow. We're good to know, Kenny King. Good no, to know. We don't need you for five days, though, Kenny. Also, yep. our show is Monday Night Revolution. It is. Yep, we're going to the head with Raw. It's not exactly the smartest thing to do, but everyone's available. You know, it's the YouTube alternative. Yep, we're a two-hour show on every Monday. Yeah, because we probably were going to lose a lot of money that way, but. I, you know, fuck that. Fuck we're, that. We're, we're starting we're, out we with nobody. We just won a lot. We just won a lot. I'm telling we're, you, buddy, there's going to be like 30 people at our first show. Watch. Like oh, that's, that, yeah. it's going to be the greatest. The, like those, those 30, 30 people, people, people? Yeah, those 30 people are mind blown. They're going everywhere. They're telling They're telling the world about us. They're like, you wouldn't believe what I just watched. And the funny thing is, I, I, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I, I booked in real life. Dude, we got like secret emails, like with like hate and like positive stuff, just being like, "This is how we do it. This is how you do it." And I'm like, "All right, we can't advance that far because we're gonna miss our show." No, no, no. It'll automatically. It'll stop if there's. It, I have it set to a special one. It'll auto stop uh -huh. uh, if anything important pops up. But right. it'll and also. And for those that, those that are like really experts at Total Extreme Wrestling, know that I've known nothing about this game. Rob is the one who played. I'm the one that booked pro wrestling. And we're having a little fun with this because some people were like, "What if you go bankrupt?" I'm like, Psst, "It's okay, <laughs> it's okay." Uh, it's true. I don't though. think we're gonna go what? bankrupt. I think you know, if we want a million dollars, how would you spend it? Because you know how, like, you you know, being in infantry, when you were in fighting holes, people would be like, "What if you had a million dollars and what would you do?" Or mm -hmm. like, if you're talking with your friends, if you had a million dollars, you know, what would you do in a wrestling company? Well, we'll find out. That's why we have Coco Sports Dream, Monday Night Revolution. We'll see how it goes. And if we fail miserably, eh, we'll just start again. <laughs> All right. That one took a little bit because it was seven days of, or six days of simulating. All right, so we're at our show. We can't use this button. Um, that's pre-show speeches because we haven't worked up to being the level where, like, we can give that as an owner or oh, okay, as a booker. Okay. But uh, we have a shit ton of positive influence in the back room from, like, yeah, Terry Funk like being a leader. Who's negative? Yeah, Taylor Hendricks is negative in the back. Taylor Hendricks, do you need a hug? Yeah, I think you she does. I'll hug, I'll hug Taylor Hendricks. Uh, right. I'm glad you're taking one for the team there, champ. <laughs> no problem. Um, also, we have, some, we have some from friendships on the roster and stuff like that. Overall, our backstage rating is 88%. Um, our rules yeah, are so having I, I think it's because we, we paid for food. You know, there's food in the back. Yeah, we uh, could... I know. I don't know about you, but working in television and working in uh, pro wrestling, if there's food in the back, that just lifts morale. Like if you if you work for, like I remember, I used to work for this television network, and it was the worst fucking moment ever, the lowest of the low, and like everyone was so angry, and they're like, "Oh, we got free food," and like everyone forgot about the problems. Like what? Free food? Yeah, free food Forget fixes about everything. Our life sucking. What's that? Free food fixes everything. It does. So we, we decided to give them free catering. All right, we're booking this stuff. Yeah. We, now, granted, we've kind of got also, this Also, they can't air, see so this, got... by the way. They oh, can't okay, see good. the notepad, so. 
Um, we, we kind of pre-talked booking. We don't have times. So there'll probably be some adjustments made, but we just did it so it would be a little bit faster. If we mm. do do a second show, that will be just straight up making shit up. I mean, we have ideas. We talked off air, and we assigned everyone gimmicks off air. Mm. But uh, are, are you ready? Yep. Uh, okay. All right. First thing we're going to do is we got the NWA and AWA title. Um, we're going to have Terry Funk uh, with, with Jerry O'Neill. Uh, um, we got the real owner, Terry Funk, and Jerry O'Neill, the character authority figure. And they're going to talk about how the NWA and AWA title, how much it means in wrestling history. Because that's what we're going with. So, boom, boom, boom. That, that's this, what's happening. This is not the fastest thing. You're going to have to talk and find All right, time. no problem. So, yeah, because we have the NWA and AWA titles, um, we're hoping that, you know, with Terry Funk out there talking about it, the younger fans will know how much the NWA and AWA title matters. Plus, Jerry will be announcing a special, I don't know, special insider thing because the main event will be one, two, three, four, five, a five way for the AWA title. And he's going to make a tag team match, and Jerry's going to explain how. The, ta the tag team is the winner of that tag team match will advance to have a chance at the AWA finals. So it's kind of like we advertised a three-way, but then we're adding another two guys. So that's how all that's going on. So, yeah, so AWA, NWA, title hype. Just because we bought the titles, um, just because in Japan especially Zero One and other federations, sometimes they don't have their own title. Even New Japan has the IWGP, and that gets turned around. So that's what we were kind of going with that feel. And also it comes with um, some prestige. So we're hoping in the game that helps. And we'll have the first round of the women's tournament because we have a lot of great women's wrestlers. We weren't planning on having a women's tournament, but when we went to go see who would talk to us because we're a brand-new company ran by a podcaster who won the lottery, um... A lot more of the good, uh, the better women's wrestlers were willing to talk to us than the men. And we're like, oh, we have to make a women's division once right. we got. So, when I set this up, the question right. I have for you is, um, how long do you want him to be able to go for? Like, how long on the mic do you do you at the absolute maximum? Well, are, you is, this, is this going to be video Terry Funk and Jerry combined? No, this is like Terry Funk going out there doing the show opener. His, his AWA, NWA speech. Do you want me to add Jerry in with it? Because I, I don't know if that's going to tank the ratings, but Jerry's decent on the microphone, so it should be okay. Yeah, I, I would just say, because I just want him to explain the Young Bucks thing. Um, I would have Terry Funk go five minutes and then Jerry explaining the title thing one minute. Okay, I can so do those separate, unless you want... Do you want them in the ring together? Because I could also yeah, do no, it separate. I don't know, it's up to you, because separate entrance sounds pretty stupid. Well, Let's no, what... I was going to say what we could do is just Terry Funk goes down to the ring, does like that real speech and everything, and then um, we cut to a video of Jerry explaining things, or Jerry backstage yeah, yeah, in yeah, his that's, office. That's not, too, that's, not, that's not a bad idea. Because then right. that, that puts all the focus on Terry Funk. Now, now this is a little dangerous, because even though Terry Funk is respected and we see him as a god and he's a legend and he's explaining the show... Um, our fans want 70 to 80 percent of wrestling because we're trying to make it. So, we're, we're, I'm a little worried about how our fans in this game are going to react. Yeah, that's true. But it's Terry Funk, and there's not many promos. So, and I just figured, you know, explaining how important the NWA and AWA title is because we're going to have them both defended. Um, Kahagas is coming in as the NWA champ in this universe. And the AWA champ is vacant and will be for the main event. Alright, um, do you want me to set up the flavor text that pops up as they're reading, or do you not care as much about that, like, as we're going? Uh, I, I'm sorry, go ahead, say, say that again? Flavor text? It's basically, like, the fluff text that's gonna animate. Like, um, whenever this segment happens when we're playing out the actual show for the ratings, it'd be like, the show opens up, like, this one, just as an example. The show opens up straight in the ring where, and that's the code for the person we're putting in. So it's Terry Funk so is Terry present, Funk. hyping what's coming up tonight. Uh, yeah, that's I good. The AWA and NWA. NWA title history. 
our championship this week. All right, so there we go, there we go. Also, there's gonna be a few seconds of like lag on the program actually doing things. Um, I know, bro. I'm, I mean, I'm recording. If people, if people are watching this, they'll be patient. Yeah, I just want, I just want people to know. I'm recording at 7:20, and I also have the most massive database on this game. I think you can get. Like, I have so many mods on this game right now. All right. Um. Do we want Terry Funk to be scripted, or do we want to? Just... No, no. Oh, we, he's the owner. We, we we want a million dollars, and we made him the owner, and all that. Uh, You're all telling right. me we don't I... have Terry Funk? Yeah, Terry Funk's not willing to go into the ring. It looks like. What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? This is something we should have knew. This well, is... remember, I did that that pre-booking test, and I was able to pre-book him. But I guess when the show came, Terry was like, "By the way, I don't work in the ring, idiots." But he's just talking. Terry just he, didn't want us to hire suit. Ric Flair. Holy I'm shit. Sorry. He just told us he'd do it so that we wouldn't hire Ric Flair. I didn't know there was, like, legit real-life drama. I feel, I feel well, like no, I'm no, fucking... I didn't, no, no, no. I was, I was kidding. But, like, damn it. Um, we could have Cahagas go out. No, 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 no. Where the fuck out. is Terry Funk? He's the owner. He gets paid. Just go out there. <laughs> he won't... It, I'm sorry, man. He's He basically has said, you know, he's not doing it. Oh, I guess wait, we have to me... go with fucking Jerry. Yeah. Can we just replace it with a video package then? With Terry voice voiceover? We could do the Cahagas hype video if you want. Uh, like what? We'll, we'll, well, no, I was saying we could have Jerry come out, talk about the uh, the AWA and NWA titles, and then after I, that yeah, we could, I, have, yeah. I mean, we could do the shows. Cahagas hype. No Terry Funk is really I know. fucking. I know. Yeah, this went from a dangerous idea to a bad idea very quickly. T Terry, Terry just Terry just fucked us. Terry did fuck us. If these are bad ratings, and oh God forbid, if Terry Funk, Terry Funk forbid that Terry Funk fucking gets angry at us. <laughs> He's like, you guys aren't doing too great. Yeah, I'll be like, right. you son of a. So do no, you want to? Don't, don't do Cahagas. Do uh, do Jerry. I know. That's what I'm saying. Do you want? We'll have Jerry come out and explain the titles and what's going on with the show. Yeah, yeah, and also um, the tag team stipulation, and then okay. ma make it a lot quicker. Ha have it done like in three fucking minutes or something. All right, Terry do we want? Funk really fucked us. This is like real life, dude. You get fucked all the time. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Look at that. Now we know. Now it's like we get to the show. Terry Funk's not there. We wanted Ric Flair to cut the promo and Ric Flair to walk down, and Terry Funk's like, "No, you don't have to." And then we're like, "Oh, I guess fucking we tested it," and they're like, "Oh, Terry Funk will do it." Uh, this motherfucker. We better hope Jerry's fucking. Oh man. This went from a dangerous idea to a horrible idea very quickly. <laughs> this this is going to tell you what type of league we are. <laughs> we are already. So, can we do a video package to open up then, then go to Jerry, then go to the match? Yeah, we can. How long do you want Jerry in the ring explaining it? Like two, three like minutes? Three minutes. Three, three minutes is good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, we just introduced shit. Cause I can see Terry Funk motivating motherfuckers, getting that shit also, going. Do we want we want Jerry free free on the microphone or scripted? Yeah, why not? If he's if we're gonna fuck up, we might as well go all out and fuck up. All right, and then you want a video package too, right? Yeah, we'll, we're we're opening up with a video package now, and fucking Terry Funk's voice is on that. No fucking care. I, I can't Funk. I can't put Terry Funk's voice on that. Oh, we are putting I'll, Terry I'll Funk's edit. Voice. I'll have to. I'll have to edit something to to make it so that Terry Funk's willing to work in the ring. Uh, well, now what the fuck's the point? It's the first night. We're like, here's Terry Funk. Maybe, maybe Terry what Funk's fuck? coming out on the second night to apologize. All right. Um, who else can we do fire, we? Can we fire the owner. <laughs> All right. The only the only person I think we have that's ever been in a AWA or NWA that we can use for title hype is Cahagas. Do you want to do that? Oh, you oh. can't just hype up the titles? No. And the history? No. All right, well, then have Cahagas there, and also... Right. Do you want to go off... Do you want to have it go off, like, Cahagas' entertainment, or, like, his microphone ability, or do you want to go off just his popularity and just basically showing Cahagas' career? Oh, like, this is bullshit. This is going fucking bad, horribly bad, quickly. Um, <laughs> is there anything about tradition or history? Well, it's it, within the confines of the game. I have to select a worker to be involved in a promote in an angle. Uh, 
However, if you want, we could always whoa, whoa, sort whoa, whoa, of. What was the hype video? Hype video involves. I have still put. I'm picking a worker part of it. All right. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just have Jerry and bring out the fucking tag team match. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. All right. It is three minutes. Jerry. Jerry explains everything and fucking. Oh god. All right. And then we. And have... I. I, th I thought this was gonna be fucking easy as shit. Obviously, that's wrong. All right, it's the Young Bucks versus SoCal, uh, not SoCal Val, versus Aaron Epic and Sexy Star. Winner gets to go to the main event for the AWA title. All right, any special stipulations? Um, like, is well, it a special match at all, or do you just want a standard tag match? Just standard tag match. All right. Um, how long do you want him to go? Uh, what was the minimum that our fans would accept? Because we don't want to make them too tired. Uh, let me not tell. I mean, should we be looking like that? That's kind of like leaning towards yeah, the game. Yeah, I forget it's what it is. Product. It's um, 8, 12, it, and 20. But we can just eight. adjust these to be the numbers you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, forget it. I thought there was a lot more factors. No, this is, these well, aren't well, let's, even let's, that important. Like, these are basically more for the... Uh... Let, let's let's go 8 minutes. 8 minutes? Okay. Uh, eight, 8 minutes. Uh... All right, eight minutes. All right, and then you, myself, who's on the mic? Our intensity is 80, our danger is 40. Now, keep in mind, after the, uh, this is, this part right here is a little bit tricky, Dave, because we're gonna run this, this, this whole pay-per-view with like our values for our product, 80, 40, but yeah. we may found out because of decisions we made of like the traditional mainstream, the purist and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that these don't perfectly match what our fan base actually expect. So we'll have spec. to tweak Terry these. Terry Funk's the road agent. So, so what, you're in the back, Terry Funk, telling people what to do, but you can't fucking cut a promo? Huh? No, 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 that's, that's not... the road agent. Oh, yeah, yeah, Terry Funk is our road agent. Terry Funk. He's basically, can... he's like, I'll help you set up the matches, but I'm not going out there and putting my name on this. And the worst part but... is, this actually happens with a lot of the legends. A lot of the fucking... All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Alright, so, so where do we go with the decision of the winning and the storylines? Um, let me double check something real quick. Austro view. Alright, it's Nick. Oh no, they both are now. Okay. So, alright, right here, this is where we're going to decide the victor, all the special, like, match booking things. So, who do you want to take the victory, Matt or Nick? That doesn't matter. Alright. I'm going to go with Nick. Uh, and then. But do you, Aaron do Epic takes the pin. Okay, so you want to make sure Aaron Epic's the one that gets pinned, yeah. um, and you want it to be a decisive Aaron Epic's one. Like, Yay! I'm glad I really worked for you in real life, you fucking scumbag. <laughs> do you? Uh, what kind of finish do you want? Decisive finish? Uh, uh, yeah, decisive. All right, and do you want a pinfall, flash pinfall? You don't have to specify. Um, uh, just yeah, just regular pinfall. Okay. You can hit him with a and then is. Is there anything else, like any interferences or any distractions, anything like that? Um, not until after the match is over. Okay. And then, um, as for I, the actual match itself, do you want to protect anyone or uh, make protect anyone... protect Sexy Star. I don't want Sexy Star in the ring that much on this one. All right. Oh, wait. Do you want her to have limited involvement? Or do you want Yeah, have... a little limited involvement. Because protect... Basically, the difference is, um, right. when Let's we... See. When we protect, it's going to accentuate her strengths, and they'll come out looking good in the match. Um, and then with limited involvement, they're actually going to be in less in the match, so they don't gain as much popularity. Uh, we have to get her popular, don't we? She's kind of a little or Yeah, a little I mean, we could always put her in just protected in it, so that she yeah, just, let's, like, let's, in let's ring let's performance. Yeah, let's just do protected. Okay. All right, and um, do you want to do an open match so it looks like it's... I, I would say no, just because these are these two are main eventers and these two aren't. That it shouldn't be an even match, like appearance wise. But it's up to you. Um, no, no, no. I I want majority of offense go to the young bucks. Okay. Um, do you want them to dominate? Like the. No, let's go keep strong. Is that the second option? What's to be up well, below dominate? Well, keep strong is um means that they that workers made to look dangerous. Alright, yeah, let's, then let's, I guess we'll do dominant. 
Okay. Yeah, and so then, we're, protect we're protecting Sexy Star Dominant because it all won't make sense in a second. Well, so that you understand, okay. domination, though, sacrifices another worker's popularity. The person getting uh, dominated. Then never mind. Just to, to okay. skip that. And just then, do, gotta you, get... do you want to call it in ring? Or do you want to script the match? The... Uh, you don't have to do either. You could just leave those off. Yeah, yeah, just leave it. We'll let Terry Funk decide that. Okay. Well, no, no. If if Terry Funk decides it, then we'd be scripting it. Um, oh. Otherwise, they're just doing it in ring. Uh, I don't give a shit either way. Okay. <laughs> All right, do you want them to have an all-out match? Like, just use all their energy, go as hard as they can the whole time? This is tough because it's an opener, but the Young Bucks oh, are going to yeah, be there. Yeah, no, they, they, sh they shouldn't, actually. Yeah, do you, yeah want them to just, do you want them to work the crowd? Yeah, because the Young Bucks and Sexy Star would do a good job working the crowd, and plus Epic is going to have a story from being abused. Okay. All right, so we get all that in. I'll go ahead and save that. Uh event all right so we get that um and then our next thing is do you want to explain uh, the, it the angle yeah uh, do you want to explain it while i set it up yes yeah, so, well aaron epic is going to take the super kick party and sexy star is going to come in and care for for um for him you know he's going to check in on the partner aaron epic's going to be embarrassed because you know he, he's out of the roster, he's kind of a smaller star. Um, he, he's a Florida indie guy, so he thinks this was his opportunity to main event, and um, he's going to lose his shit and start beating the hell out of Sexy Star. A cheap shot, you know what I mean? Like, Sexy Star goes to pick pick him up. They're like, hey, partner, we tried, you know. It just didn't work out, and he just starts beating the piss out of her. And then uh, Mia... Uh, Mia is going to run into the ring and it looks like she's going to save Sexy Star but she's going to look at Epic and they're both going to start kicking the hell out of her. Truth Martini comes in whispers something to Aaron Epic and then they just walk out together. Okay, do you want me to have Do you want me to have this split um, into two segments or, do you, or even three? Like, Do you want to have like the focus just being on a uh... Like, Aaron Epic and Sexy Star for about a minute before Mia comes in as a new angle with Mia and Eric beating on her? Or do you just want it to be just all of them in one angle? And then similar, do you uh, want Truth well, coming I, I out Well, I mean, separately? I guess to, to, to break it down, um, we could have the Aaron Epic thing be one angle, Aaron Epic and Sexy Star, and then Truth, Martini, and Mia could come in together, and that will be a kind of a second angle, but it's right, right back to back. Okay. And then, of course, Aaron Epic is going to be panicking and because, you know, in this roster, he's kind of a younger wrestler, smaller smaller wrestler, and he feels like his opportunities are slipping. And Truth Martini, which also House of Truth with me is part of, and so is Roderick Strong, whispers up to him and walks to the back. Okay. Do you want, um, for this segment, for the actual attacking of Sexy Star initially... How do you want? Yeah. Do you want Sexy Star to be rated on her acting since she's selling, um, getting beat yeah, up? Yeah, sure. I mean, what else do we have? Six, but the options six, are overness, which is essentially their popularity. We want to avoid that for the most part right now. Yeah, let, let, let's just um, go acting. Because entertainment. She's gonna go, she's, okay. gonna, she's gonna go there. She's gonna be concerned. Okay, and she's what about? She's gonna help him up, and then Epic's gonna beat the piss out of her. So, do you want Epic to go off menace? Um, let's see. Yeah, because there ain't like, because I kind of want him to be like losing his shit. Like, he thinks this might be we the time. We could do acting time. too. I don't know, either one. I, I don't see the difference. Right. I don't, I don't, I'm well, not quite sure what the Basically, is. menace, there are two different skills that it can measure off. Acting is like your ability to pretend to do, it's fucking acting. Menace yeah, yeah, is yeah. your ability to look like mean or imposing. Menace is like a monster skill, basically. Oh, okay, but he—he's coming off as an asshole who thought he missed his opportunity. Okay, to beat him. I would—I would say acting then. All right. All right. Um, and storyline changes. This will affect their stories advancing. Do you want this to be a success for him, and a defeat for Sexy Star? Storyline-wise, because he's beating the shit out of her. Uh, yeah, I guess. Why not? We could also do minor defeat or minor success or major. Those yeah, let, 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 let's let's try to protect Sexy Star. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, there's no injury risk. Uh, it could potentially turn 
Aaron to a heal. Mail. Um, and do you want? Because I could just type in the text that me uh, that uh, me again comes out after, and then we could have Truth come out in the next segment. That well, way, I, this no, no, segment. No, I think me and Truth come together. Okay. Have that all in one segment. Because I kind of want to like it with the announcer would be selling like, is anyone gonna come out and save her? You know, that okay. shit. And then boom, here comes man, motherfucking Terry Funk ruined everything. <laughs> I'm such a negative fucking asshole. I went from this is the greatest card ever to holy shamoly. <coughs> All right. All right, and you want him to just basically be flipping out about how this was his chance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, he also cheap shot. Mention it's a cheap shot. Like sexy star doesn't kind of see it coming. All right, one sec. All right. And then go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to put them in. Um, I would say just because they're not our highest skilled workers to script this part, but it's up to yeah, you. Yeah, we could do that. All right, and how long do you want the Aaron F8 just beating her part to be? Like two, three minutes? No, <clears throat> just go two minutes max. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm dying a little bit. Two minutes max. Yeah, maybe maybe even less, but we'll see. Well, we can do one or two. I just need to know what you want. Let's two. do one because Mia's okay. going to run out. You know what I mean? Okay. Or, I mean, we could always add two if we're looking for time later. Okay. Yeah, yeah we'll do that then. All right, and then the next segment is the Mia game coming out, so... Uh, yeah. And she's going to be with Truth. And then it looks like they're trying to make the save, but they just start beating the hell out of her. Whisper, walk backstage. Okay. Fucking Terry Funk. <laughs> I, I was thinking, if, and I'll have flashbacks. If this was real life, I'd be cursing that fucking wrestling legend for the fucking rest of the night. Uh, is anyone else going to be, is, wait, is uh, Truth Martini going to be on the microphone at all? Or is this just him acting because no one can really hear yeah, what yeah, he yeah, says? Yeah, acting because he's just going to whisper in his ear. Okay, no one knows what he's saying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and then um, that's going to be a minor defeat for her. Uh, do you want this to be a bigger success for uh, Truth than the rest of the group? Yeah, 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 because he's going to be the, the main leader okay. of this. Alright, uh, uh... how long do you want this to go? Uh, a minute or two minutes. Probably, or both segments combined, about three minutes. Okay. And with this win, the Young Bucks are in the main event for the AWA title. And I'm just filling up time okay. repeating stuff. <laughs> I feel like I'm Michael Cole. Go to, go to the WWE app now. <laughs> and sorry about... Um, go to cookersports.net. Ah, don't worry, dude. We, we, I just wanted to it. explain, like, you know, sorry about if it takes a little bit to, to type these out. I just, I would rather whenever we're going through doing the ratings, we can all read through it like a nice little recap. Yeah, that'd be cool. Alright, uh, and then select this, six star, Aaron Epic, me and him, Truth Martin. Do we want Truth unscripted? Um, yeah, he's can. the only one that's unscripted, we okay. trust him. All right, um, I do want to warn you, some people, we'll find out after who does. Sometimes people on your roster will have trouble working with someone who's unscripted when they are scripting. Uh, uh, yeah, I can imagine. So. I'm looking at you, John Cena and Del Rio. <laughs> <laughs> that was awkward. I don't know if you remember that, but one time she, like Del Rio sticking to his script and John Cena's just like, your character's not real. 
And Del Rio's like, are, are you fucking for real right now? <laughs> da, 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 da. Alright, and then uh, our next segment, if you want to explain it. Next segment will be um, a three-way match. Um, Which also... Mia, oh, Mia Yim stays yeah, in the ring with yeah. two martinis. Yeah, so, I wanted they to all, point they that out. Stay. They don't actually walk to the back. I forgot Except about that. Except Aaron. Aaron. Aaron leaves, right? It doesn't matter. He could stay or not stay. Who gives a shit? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 sorry, Aaron. But uh, Mia Yim stays, and this is the first round for the ti- for the women's title, which the finals will be next uh, week. It's a three it's a three way match. You have Kana, Everlease, and Mia Yim. Everlease. Everlease, and I'm horrible at pronouncing names from Lucha Underground. All right. Do, do, do. Uh, how long do you want them to go? Let's... Well, they're only working once tonight, so let's go about 12 minutes. Okay. All right. Because uh, the, fi- the finals are actually another night. All right, and... Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. Can we um knock you off for Truth Martini for one match? Wow, yeah. Oh, uh, that hurts. Uh, all right, all right. No, no, knock no, it's off. fine. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Duly noted. No, no, it's fine, because remember, I'm no, the no, first... No, no, because if Truth... The best part is if Truth Martini... Gets, gets, gets uh, horrible ratings. You're gonna fuck it. You're gonna fuck well, no, this it. Is, this. this is fine because remember though, you and Booms are actually the announcer and color commentary. I'm the personality who also does it. We decided, so yeah, you yeah. could actually have like microphone feuding between myself and Truth if you wanted to over the fact that every time one of his people's out there, he takes me off the booth. All right, yeah, that's not bad. Just because I think that Truth can explain the storyline in detail. Yeah. And explain the house of truth, and explain how great Mia Yim is. And I'm I'm fine with you having them beat me down or something for me saying too much about truth. That's fine. Um, all right, so, so we'll our save winner. That for show never. <laughs> <laughs> I could dream. I just want to uh, get beat up by him. Kana right. wins. Uh, uh, do you want to specify who's taking the loss or not as important? I I don't. I think it really should take the loss because then Mia Yim still has something going on. You know what I mean? Okay. Or, but I don't know because Mia Yim loses, then Truth being humbled and him being angry might bring comedy. True, we could have Mia Yim lose and protect her, but do you really want this to be a horrible night for Truth? Yeah, that's true. All right, yeah. Have, have, you know what have, I mean? Have, 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 have it released, take the loss. Because she's basically his marketing to other people right now. Yeah. Uh, all right. We could do. Do you want to protect Ivelisse though? So that it, uh, like, even though she's taking the loss, like she's not gonna get any more popular over this, but she's also not gonna get any less popular over it. All right. Yeah. Because what we're doing is just having great women's wrestler, and you know, Kana is gonna be the cornerstone of our Fed. Actually, we don't need. We, we probably actually don't need to to protect it. We'll do it if she complains. Um, do you want to right. script this or call it in? Well, they don't have the psychology, I don't think, to call it in. I say script it because language barriers. Okay. Well, I don't know. Kind of no, no, all me. of them speak English in, yeah, in that's the game. True. That's yeah, all of them. Racist, I mean, just because I live in Japan and don't speak Japanese, I shouldn't assume she doesn't speak English. Yeah, she speaks. I mean, her English isn't fantastic, but she does speak pretty good English. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you make the call. I've been making a lot of calls here. No, no, you're the, you're the guy. You right, got right. Let, let's well, go scripted. Let's go scripted. All right. All right. I so mean, if they s- complain, we'll just be like, "Fine, you win, ladies." Okay. <laughs> and twelve minutes, and you want a decisive win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not big into not decisive, not clean victories. Okay. Do any interferences, distractions, anything like that? Crazy um, no, bumps. because um. Oh yeah, that's another I guess thing. Aaron we can do crazy. Went to the back or didn't go to the back, but truth will be on the mic. Okay. All right. Um. Here's your thing, so that you know. Uh. You can try and do crazy bumps in matches, which is basically like, wow. All right. She'll all do right. it. Some workers will just flat out refuse to do it. Some workers won't do it on shows if the show's not a big enough show. But a crazy bump, basically, there's a chance. There's a chance, a big chance of risk of uh, injury. But it's, you know, it's for those big spots. Like, you know what I mean? The really good moments in those matches. Those sort of things. So if you want, we could do those um, whenever you want. So just remember that we have that as an option if you ever want to use it. 
Like if you really know, want to put a match over. Nice, but maybe it's too, do you think it's too soon on the first night? I feel for like we bump? should save it for main events. All right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we don't want to risk their health for just any match. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 All right. Um, how do you want her to get this win? Flash pinfall. Uh, just finish pinfall? her. Yeah. Or do you not what's, care how to finish it? What's the difference between flash pinfall? Flash pinfall is, you know, schoolboy roll-ups and shit like that. Oh, okay, okay. <sighs> Let me think. You can all I'm, just, I'm just seeing. What's the mm -hmm. sports entertainment finish? Uh, sports entertainment is... It uh, doesn't have a specific finish. It's just a messy, non-decision draw. Nah, uh, the women deserve better. Than it's that. basically what WWE does for 90% of their matches. I'm gonna go pinfall finish because I don't. I, I would say flash because it makes people look strong, but I think that's unfair for women just because they fucking in real life have to do that bullshit finish all the time. I forgot something. All right, so Kana is our victor. Yeah. All right. Um, and then hold on. There we go. I wanted to put that it's the first women's titles match. So that way, if we ever come back and look at this card, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it'll show in our history. So I just figure it'll be nice for All right. us. All right. Um, and at, after our, that, we have a Kahegas hype video about the NWA because we're going to have the NWA title match. All right. Um. Is there any way we can have Truth stay ringside? Like, you return back in the booth, but Truth doesn't leave for this match because he's still recruiting talent? Um, we could. Like, we could just kayfabe that. Like, I, there's, okay, I don't okay, have okay. to put that... You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because um, well, if I yeah, put yeah, him yeah, in an angle, then, uh, then he affects the angle's rating because he's participating in that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and he's everywhere. All right, well, well, let's, let's right now just do the... Also, like, yeah, yeah. People will get pissed over using people too much. All right, so yeah. For, for the record, uh, we 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 are leaning on truth a lot. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. If we... Truth Martini leaves, we're just like, all right, there you have it. <laughs> I guess there you have it. All right, so do we want? What do you want this to go off of? His overness or his menace? Like, what do you want to be the primary thing the video is focusing on? Is it just how popular Cahagas is? Uh, like his his mic work, his acting, how sexy he is. Uh, Menace scary. beats monster, right? Yeah. All right, let's go with that. Because I, I wish they had more. Op and I know this sounds like very dickish, but I wish we like the history, the tradition. That's what we're trying to really sell, but don't look like that's an option. No, but that's that's something we put in the fluff. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So uh, now, in this universe, Cahagus is the champ. Because uh, which, which this universe, is for some reason, is, the NWA world title He's is NWA, vacant. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, if we have time, because after we book it and there's still time, we can also do a hype video on his opponent. Okay. Because you remember, he's going to be the cornerstone of the future. Yeah. All right. Um, how long do you want Cahagas hype reel to be? Uh, a minute, two minutes. Two minutes? All right. Yeah. We can always adjust this later. All right. And then our next match, if you want to explain it. The next match is just going to be the NWA title match. So it's going to be a title match, and it's going to be uh, Gehagas, who in this universe is the NWA champion, versus Yuhan Nation. So, boop, it's one-on-one -on -one type match. How long do you want uh, this to go? Um, I'm really keep trying Keep in to mind, if we can also squash matches are an option. Uh, they're usually between four to six minutes. I can't remember the... It's been a, I don't use them a ton, so I tend to forget. Um, it's yeah. either four or six minutes, but it's in that range, and you just put in the dominate note, and that might be good for considering our yeah, storyline story we're going to tell. Right, yeah, we can, we can have, and we it can also have really dominated. shows, like, ooh is serious shit. Yeah, because what we're doing here is we're having him come in with the title, 
Yuha wins the title, and then um, Cahagas is destroyed in the ring, and that's where Truth Martini recruits him. All right. Do you so want to yeah. have them go all out for this match since it's a short? Yeah, game? yeah. Because because um, Cahagas is a pretty good brawler, and right. Yuha is a big man that can hold his own, and he can do some awesome moves. Pinfall. So it might be a clash of styles, but I think eight minutes going all out, they can pull it off. Well, six. Remember, we're going for a squash. Oh, okay. Uh, pinfall, flash pinfall, right. submission. I feel like if it's dominate, if he's dominating, it should be a pinfall or a submission. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's go pinfall. All right, and we're gonna do six minutes. It's for the title. Who do you want on the mic with you? With you guys, me or? Yeah, yeah. Back to you. Okay. All right. I mean, yeah. Heavyweight. I'm, I'm concerned just because we only have two hours we're trying to like build up this new version of House of Truth that uh, people might get pissed of Truth Martini. Well, let's put it this way. We only have 40 minutes booked right now. Um, uh, and okay. So, I mean, it's not it's not, it's not not horrible yet. All right, all right. We'll, 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 we'll see on time. Because this, Cause is, this up... right now, we're about to use him for the last time, remember? Other than yeah, when yeah, he's yeah. ringside for the Roderick uh, thing. Yeah. All right. So um, right now we're gonna set up this part. Yeah. Um, so if so you want to explain I, that. I explained it, but I'll explain it again. Shit. He's my up my bad. I was in the zone. <laughs> the and and NWA the NWA titles on the line. He comes in. There's a lot of hype. There's a video package. He comes in. He's going against Yuha Nation. Yuha Nation just beats him pretty pretty easily. You know, we're, we're going to get Kagas some offense in there, but it's pretty much, you know, in the video, Kagas is a monster, but then the monster just got easily defeated on the first night in this new company, and there's a new NWA champ, and he's just crushed in a ring, and that's when Truth Martini, just like any good cult leader, comes by and, you know, puts his arm around him. It, it well, starts to build up, because that leads to Roderick Strong, Mia... Aaron Epic and uh, Cahagas all in the House of Truth. And then we might be adding more to it, but as of right now, we're not too sure. Because we have a lot of long-term plans with Truth Martini. So. Okay. Um, so you want Truth to come out and recruit him? Do you want Truth to be on the microphone for this? Or is this going to be like before where no, Truth just I, I, I say, I say whispering whisper, in just, fear? Alright, because yeah, right yeah. now we're not taking it. But Truth hasn't really been on the microphone a lot to sell other than during that one match. Yeah, but if, if he if he does cut a promo, I'm, I'm going to have it with Roderick Strong because Roderick is going to be his biggest victory and all that, but you got to remember we're making the NWA and the AWA titles mean something, and if Yuha Nation wins it, you're still partying and celebrating, and if he cuts a promo, like, whispering doesn't take away. You're just like, oh, what's, there? what's that going with? But if he's like, oh, I'm going to take you back to the top, Yuha Nation's like, Motherfucker, I just won the title. Pump your brakes. And if we okay. have time, maybe we can throw like fucking little streamers and shit for the champions. Is that an option? Do we, is that even in our budget? <laughs> I mean, we can do that. Like, things like that are more like, you know what I mean? More like you put, you can put them in angles of description type things. That's oh, gotcha. more like the gotcha. fluff and things of this thing, of the show. Gotcha, gotcha. Because right now, we want Yuha Nation. This is a problem that we're having. There's a couple problems that we have. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about problems as you're typing this in. Uh, three okay. major, well, four major problems, thanks to fucking Terry Funk. <laughs> but three major problems that we're going into this is Gail Kim's the main eventer, and we want her to pass the buck, but we don't want her just to be losing all the time. So we're very worried about how we're going to book Gail Kim. Because we want her to be strong, but yet still put over the younger talent. Um, another problem that we we're having is uh, Yuha Nation and Kana. We want them to be the cornerstone of our companies, and according to this game, they're only mid carter so we have to build them up. So these are some of the problems that we're having. As how far long as do, how long do you want the... I feel like I'm two uh, minutes? The shortest possible. Alright. Maybe even one minute. Alright, um, do you want me to remake the angle so I can do one minute? It'll only take a second if you do. 
Uh, uh, no, I think this should be two minutes if you can't do okay. that. Alright, and then uh, our next because match... Because even we're at two minutes, you know, we can have what's-his-name in the ring partying it up. Mm-hmm. Because he just won the NWA title. And then uh, next, this is the second one. Now, the winner, Kana, won. So, it was a three-way match. She's going to the finals next week for the Pro Wrestling Eve title. Like we said, we bought titles. Um, more of a Japan feel. And next one is Leva Bates, a.k.a. Blue Pants for WWE fans. Amazing Kong slash Awesome Kong Karma and Gail Kim. Now, uh, Leva was originally, originally supposed to take uh, Mia's spot in House of Truth because we wanted all Florida talent in House of Truth. But at last second, me and Rob decided she's too cute and lovable to put in the House of Truth. She is too nice to be using her for anything like that. She's so damn nice. Yeah, so instead we made her like a nerd geek girl because she does her own nerd show on YouTube. So we're kind of hoping that, you know, we're a YouTube show and connect. Yeah, uh, all that. We need, uh, we're, we're this far from the end and we need 48 minutes still on the show. So oh, that's okay. We're, be yeah, mindful yeah, of that. Good. Um, how long do you want them going? This is our uh, co-main event. Keep in mind, Leva Bates. Um, if it's if this goes, I would say longer than twelve minutes. We'll probably need to put her on limited involvement because I don't think she has the stamina to go the kind of distance these two can. Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, how? Because uh, the other one was kind of like twelve minutes. So let's go. This one could go. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. No. Uh, I, was, I was typing things that could be spoilerish no, 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 off, no. I think. I, I forgot. Just so this, one has, this one has to be long. We'll make Leave a Bates thing because okay. uh, How running, long? the running's going to happen. You want to make it a 20 minute? <sighs> let's 15, make it. Let's make it. Let's make it. 12. No, 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 no. 16. Let's just make it 16. Okay. 16 minutes. Um, there will be a run in during this match. It's so weird because like I'm trying to be like, <laughs> they don't know, but then I'm like, wait, we're showing them behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, we're showing them, but I, I like the idea that they're only finding out as we're adding it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're nerds. All right. All right, and who do we have taking the victory? Amazing uh, Kong. Kong. Okay, and, and the um, loss is correct. The uh, takes the pin. I thought it was, I thought this person was costing them the win, and that was what no, caused. No, 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 she's the one. That, she, okay. No, Leva Bates takes the pin. Okay, and we'll do uh, limited, protect... limited on Leva, so that uh... yeah, limited on Leva. All right, and, and... protect um, Gail. All right, and then uh, well, Gail's... Gail's not taking the pin. You sure you don't mean keep strong and not protect? Because yeah, Gail's great in yeah, range. Okay. All right, and then what, right. what else did you want? Uh, there's going to be a run-in by Alpha Female. Okay, and is this is, uh, would you say this is a tainted win or a cheap win, since you know the interference and everything? Maybe, maybe because Alpha Female doesn't help Awesome Kong, but she also didn't have to deal with Gail Kim 100. percent Yeah, like so, it's a tainted win, but not really. You know, I don't know. It's hard to describe, but yeah, we'll go tainted win because it's not a decisive win. And right, it's not and really a cheap win. So how do you, how wins. she how she take the victory? Pinfall, flash pinfall. I like the idea of a flash pinfall while Gale's distracted. No, because Leva's taking the pin. Right, but I like the idea of her getting the of Amazing Kong getting the flash you think, you think pin. Kong would do a while. Roll up pin on Leva? Oh think. no, you're right. Yeah, no, she'd just yeah. fucking just demolish her and then pin her. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, uh, I guess just pinfall finish. Um. Oh, outside interference, but uh, yeah, but no, that's that that finish. one's yeah, that one's not gonna work. All right, so we have interference on Gail Cam from the Alpha Female. Alpha Female. All right, and then uh, and then let's have uh, Alpha Female that promo that she's about to cut. Have Alpha Female cut that in the back, like they chase her down as soon as well, uh, as soon as the stare down's done. All right, so do you want to put this part before that then, since this makes more sense that way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so we got what that happens now? is Alpha Female. There's a three-way match. Alpha Female runs down and just starts beating the shit out of Gail Kim, and then they 
I guess leaves are laying. I don't want to crawl to the back because I think crawls to the back look fake. But mm -hmm. Alpha Female pretty much takes uh, Gail Kim out of commission. So maybe they walk her to the back after Alpha Female's there. And Alpha Female's running her mouth, but the television's not really picking up what she's saying. We just know that Alpha Female is clearly pissed off and cost uh, Gail Kim a shot at the title. Okay, so do we want to have a. Uh acting or do we want to have like acting on both display for both of them for gail and alpha female like we sure. can have gail we can well, have no, gail no. getting stretched alpha out female to have the, the monster one because she came out and just oh dominated. yeah yeah you're right you're right you're right all right um uh do you want uh gail to be getting stretched out or anything um i just walked out by the referee and, okay. then, and then have it where, uh, if you want, you can have her thrown through a table or something. But I don't know if Gail would want that. Gail might be like, go fuck yourself. And then like, all right, just power bomb to the floor. Which probably actually hurts more, but... All right, so there's going to be a low injury risk with this. Yeah, yeah. yeah all right. Gail. Okay. All right. Uh, you said power bomb? Yeah, I'll just power bomb her. It's just a powerful move to get Gail Kim out of the match. I threw a table would be nice just because, oh, you know, when women do hardcore, it still has a ooh ah type reaction to it. Where? All right. So how's that? Alpha female power bombs Gail Kim through a table, screaming to the fans as the referee helps Gail to the back because they can't really make her out because she doesn't have a mic or anything. Even yeah. though it's a 30-person crowd, we're not going to talk about that. And even though it says <laughs> post-match, this is actually mid-match. Okay. We just... Just ignore that. Alright. Alright. Because that's irrelevant. I just didn't want it to keep arguing with me. Alright, so... Uh... Wait and, uh... All right, how long do you want that to go? One, two minutes? Oh, uh, let's go two minutes. All right. Uh, but here's the weird part. Now, maybe one, because that happens during the match. Okay. Do you want Gail's uh, acting to be scripted or no? No, I trust her. All right. And then I'll, you know. All right. And then we are adding in the other thing, which is... Then Con Awesome Kong is celebrating going to the finals, and Kana just comes out and does a stare down with her. And that will be a match for the title next week. Tune in! Alright, and do you I want that to go off their menace or their popularity? Uh, popularity for Kana, menace for Kong. Okay. Oh, but I don't know, if it's Kong. Because I don't know if... I mean, that's what I would do. I guess... You know, we could do it that way. It's it's up to you. Like, I, 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 Yeah, let's, let's do overness. Because cause the, right. the part that... Uh, overness for Kong or for both? No, Menace for Kong. Okay. And, yeah, that's I don't, what I and it's not an attack. It's I know, a, I know, I know. Uh, calm down. I'm editing another angle. It takes a second, buddy. Calm down. All right, all right, all right. And of course, then people are like, wow, I have to pay whatever we charge on YouTube. I hope we give it away for free. Because <laughs> I'm not about making money. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm going to turn on screen. Uh. All right, and then... And this is a very Japanese style of booking. I actually thought about doing it for the main event, but doing that style twice is kind of a bad gimmick. Uh, Steps onto the ramp, and a fear... Do you want the stare down to happen from the ramp to the ring? No, face to or face in the, ring. in the ring, and people are going fucking crazy. At least we hope. <laughs> like, <laughs> we hope that they're going crazy. It's kind of an awesome gong. We'll be going crazy on commentary. Going <laughs> <laughs> fucking batshit. Like, this is the greatest thing in sports entertainment. All right. For an Down to the ring. And of course, the announced team is putting it over, and the announced team is saying, next week, 
only on YouTube. All right, Doesn't have the same ring. Amazing Kong. Hana. Oh, wait, wait. No, hold on. I did them backwards. All right. Uh, how long do you want this to be? Uh, one minute. Or, yeah, one, one or two minutes. Two minutes? All right. Because we want to tell short, simple stories and let the wrestling decide. Because that's what we'd want to have, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so we need 27 more minutes, which I think we, we can easily do that. With the, oh, yeah, because that fucking yeah. match is going Yeah, this has actually worked out really well. Like, this is just, like, right in there, time-wise. All right, so the next yeah. thing is, um, do we want to do any special entrances or anything before the match? Uh... No, let's have a special celebration. No special no. entrances, just a special celebration. Okay, hold on one sec. Disregard all this. I'm just saving it so I can edit. All right, so uh, special celebration after the match or before it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After. Well, how do you get to celebrate before? Like, fuck yeah, I'm in here. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe fucking Truth Martini just shit talks the whole way down to the ring while he's walking Roderick down. Yeah. Hopefully the Young Bucks don't get hurt because this story takes a twist. Good thing we got Kenny King. Kenny King, right. get your gear on. All right, what so... Wait, do you want to swap Kenny King in for Willie Mack? Uh, we've been fucking with Willie Mack too much. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We told, we told Willie Mack off, he was going to be off, in this match, air, took him out, air, put him we in. With Willie Mack so much. <laughs> like, Willie Mack got told he was going to be an, uh, a mid-carder, then he got dropped lower, then we put him back to mid-card, we told him he'd be in this match, then we took him out, then we put him back the in best, it. The best part is the way we were booking and talking off-air, we're like... All right, Willie Mac. We don't know what we're gonna do with you, so you just be you. And then we were like, <laughs> then we were like, oh, we're gonna put you in the main event spot. Then we're like, oh fuck, we got Jay Lethal. You're gonna be in a pre-show. And then yeah. we're like, nah, that's not fair. You're in the main event. So Willie Mac, if this was real life, <laughs> he be hates very us. pissed off. He hates us. All right. Uh, um, do you want what, this to be any kind of special time? gimmick match, or do you want this to be just a standard, just six just, dudes? No, I want this to be all out. I want the fucking internet. Right, right. And but, but I mean, do you want this to be like a hardcore match? Anything goes, no, man. No, like, just all out fucking craziness, busting just, their ass. Okay, just actual wrestling. All right, how long? Uh, Keep in mind, there's five what? minutes of non wrestling added to it. I assume for all their entr all oh, yeah, their yeah, entrances, yeah, entrances and everything. Uh, let's go twenty minutes and then. We'll decide okay. from there. Because I kind of want right. it to be a really long match. All right. And our winner is this, yes? Roderick? Yes. All right. Our winner is Roderick. Uh, <laughs> like, we're you... keeping spoilers from someone. <laughs> uh, are we going to uh, have loser... Willie? Willie's, Willie's the we're only guy who's Willie not Mac a main event. He's the day. only guy who's not a main event. He should be thankful he's in this card. Because this is huge for him. Uh, Willie back first NXT, now Coco Sports. I'm All just right. saying, like, look at who he's in there with. Willie Mack should not be going to this match expecting to win, or even not be the guy that takes the fall. I don't know. Cause, so, here's the thing. Uh, Matt Sedell will be signed last second because Rob wanted him, and the game's like he's the Whoa, main event. Whoa, no, like, no, no. You told me to sign Matt Sedell, you yeah, son of a I bitch. I thought he could be enhancement talent, and then the game's like he's a main eventer. I'm like, oh, all right. All right, so I. Uh, let's you want let's just do Willie Mack. We fucked with All him right. so much. All right, Willie no, Mack. Because I, 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 we need Matt Sedell to still be popular so that when okay. you hop, when you right. hop beats him, now, you so hop you know, popularity, all, John Cena style. All, all out, out, all out for 20 minutes means yep. that a lot of these guys are going to be exhausted and it's going to hurt the ratings. But do you want to try it anyways and see if they're able to pull it off? Because uh, all out means they're they're not conserving energy, like you know what I mean. Like it warns on uh, here, no, we, well, it we can go falls all, we apart can if it goes it too short. long. We, we can make it shorter. Well, I was gonna say because we could also do slow build, which means no, that they're telling no. a story with a big finish. This is Coco Sports Dream, not fucking 1980 fucking two dream. All right, so you want him to go all <laughs> out? Uh, I want, want all out. I'd rather have a shorter match than it not be all out. Okay, script it, call it in the ring, or just leave it up to them. Other main eventers. Call it in the ring. I, I say they can call it in the ring. Because one of them has bad, really no, 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 good here's psychology. The thing, here's the, this, this is not like legit book back in the day. Let them call it in the ring. But if it gets bad reviews, they lose that option. Okay. All right. You know and what decisive I mean? It's like, win? If it's like, dude, that fucking sucked. 
decipher win, or are um, we having people interfere on behalf, you know, House of Truth? Well, let's let's have the Flash pinfall. We haven't had one of those tonight. Okay. There's five of them, right, so right. But I'm asking, five. is it a decisive win or a cheap win? Like, does let's make it a decisive win, but a roll up. Okay. Flash pinfall. Um, any interferences or distractions? Because you could have, if you want yeah, well, to, we could have you could have... We could have distractions with Truth Martini, but yeah, you truth. too much. Um, we could use uh, Kahakis or me again. Or Aaron Epic. Oh, uh, maybe me again. But I don't know, because we're, we're building up... We yeah. haven't used Kahakis much, so it's up to you. Um, we've used uh, me again a decent amount, Aaron Epic a decent amount, but we've well, no, I I don't know. It's up to you. Do you want to include any of those things, or do you want this? To well, just yeah, be... we, we, well, let's let's have interference for him, because then he could be like, "Oh, I helped you help me get my title back." Yeah, okay. that's a good idea. Let's go. All with right. Kahagas. So who's he attacking? Um. Oh, who's he attacking? Okay. Yeah. Anyway. I don't right. know. Uh. Well, no, 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 we no, no, can no. say that he attacks the, uh, Willie Mac, and that's how. All right. You want? All right. Oh, I see no, where no, you're no, going. Because next week, because the Young Bucks have, you know, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. The Young Bucks have two matches this week, and one of them's all out. So next week, the Young Bucks just have a backstage segment, and that's it. All right. Um, do you want to have uh, anyone try? Do you want to see if anyone will take a crazy bump for this first main event? Willie Mac, poor guy. No, no, I no, mean, like, I, anyone? All right. Jay Lethal won't. Uh, wow. It did not. Exp wow. These guys might be so popular that they're just like, yeah, we're not. Willie Mac does it. <laughs> Are you fucking for real? <laughs> we write this down. We owe Willie Mac a huge favor. Uh, <laughs> Willie Mac owed one. Huge. <laughs> All right. So we got that. <laughs> In the notes, he writes, Willie Mac owed one. <laughs> All right. Uh, Should we let someone else take the pin then since he's doing that for us? Um, it's up to you. Yeah, we could make Seidel take the loss if you want, since Willie's but the taking thing is, a crazy I want, bump. I want Seidel to be strong, because next week he's putting Yuhan Nation over. And I want to uh, get Yuhan Nation to the main event. Want to right, have Jay I'm Lethal take Cena. the loss? What's that? Want to have Jay Lethal take the loss? Because uh, We still could just leave it on Willie Mack. Like, we yeah, could say Roderick Strong Mac. does be, some Willie crazy Mac be like, move oh, on fucking him. look, I got hurt. Alright. I got rolled up. Sure. Alright, hold on. Okay. All right. So that is our card right now. We need two more we minutes to proceed. Protect people. Uh, so how much? Two more minutes to proceed. Yeah. Do you want to protect oh, anyone in this? Celebration. Okay. The poop. Where's it? Roderick Strong celebrates. Uh, um, we... How many people can we have in a celebration? Um, however many, uh, I think it's like up to eight people can be in an angle. Uh, here's the thing though, do you want them to have, have them come out now, or do you want it to just be him and Truth, and then we could open the next show with Truth going on the mic and explaining what's happening. Like, uh, what he's doing. I don't know, I, I like the fact that they're all in the ring and no words have been said. Okay, it's like, do you want oh, me to just have... Part of House of Truth. Yeah, 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 I like that, because... You know, Truth Martini could brag about what he did. They just won the AWA title. They're promising Cahagas the NWA title back. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. they could be like, look at us. Look how great we were. So, yeah, have them all there. Because then he's like, oh, we got this guy and this guy. It just, it seems like it's not worthy of waiting. Yeah. All right. Um... So Post-match celebration. <coughs> oh, version one and version two. What's the difference? Uh, it's just different setups to, for stats to go off of. The other one is like it can do a heel turn because this champion celebrates too much, taking it too far. Um, but yeah. we can, we're doing a custom one anyway. So how many people do you want in total? All, all of them. All the ones that are so far in House of Truth. So right, Roderick's obviously. Roderick, Aaron. Uh, Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mia. Truth. House and Cahagas. Cahagas, yeah. Okay. And they're all they're all celebrating with Roger. And if you want, I was thinking, yeah, no, let's keep it the way it is. I was thinking about adding a highlight video, but let's just keep it. All right. Do you want it to be off anything? Just their overness, acting, entertainment, microphone. Well, they're none of them are going to be talking. So, do you want any of them rated off entertainment, 
Overness, Mike, like, what do you want everyone rated well, on? Well, Champion Overness, obviously, and okay. then um, Truth Martini Overness, and then the rest, just, they're there. Alright, so not rated? They're just in yeah. the ring? Okay. And they're just telling the story, and, you know, like, boom, boom, and it, his poor man JR impersonation can be like, my god, look what's happening! Okay, that's not... Don't listen to me on commentary. <laughs> I'm not going to give them any success since they're not being rated on anything. It feels like cheating. Because, yeah. you know, they're just there. Like, that's how the fans will, would see it, too. If well, yeah, they're, they're just there, but it yeah. also it tells a, it tells a yeah, story Yeah, it tells the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then after the match... Uh... A new AWA champion, Roger Troll. It's AW a heavyweight, right? Yeah. And that's our first show. I didn't think this was going to take too long. I thought we could pump out a bunch of these. This might have to be a stream thing in the future. I, t I told you, man. I told you. We'll have to... We have to if, if you're interested in doing it as a stream, maybe we'll have to do that in the future. But uh, I wouldn't be able to record it at 720 if we stream it. The, oh, okay. the quality would be this. lower, which would be bad because it's text-based. Yeah, well, well, let's keep it the way it is. I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, but we're thinking about, we have a Coco Sports stream account, so maybe we'll do something different for that. We just haven't decided yet. All right, and then... Not really any risk. Uh... I'd say that's a major impact, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think so. It's ending the show, new champion, all that. Yeah, alright. Alright. Truth. Yeah. Alright, and then, uh, how long do you want it to bang? Uh, the end of the show, so whatever time's left. You said two minutes left? Yeah. Okay. So, we're on our strong syllabus. All right, now keep in mind, um, bef before I actually do the run show, um, I'm going to show you a few things. One, analysis, which will close it quick. Uh, but that shows you who we haven't used on the roster in this show. Okay, Wait. okay. I love how, like, we closed it quick. We're like, oh, hopefully they don't see spoilers. Because they can't pause it. Yeah. All right, so, uh, yeah, because they're not here with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. All right, so we got all this. So keep in mind, before I click run show, one thing to remember is... Uh, what, 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 are we still debating lowering the AWA thing? Or should we risk it and see what happens? What do you mean, remember lowering? Remember you said you were a little worried that it was 20 minutes and they're going all out? But there's five dudes. Um, mm, do you want to risk it? I think it's fine. Um, Willie Max, the only one that I think will have issues with it. I think the other guys will be okay. Oh man, that would suck so bad if we injured Willie Max. No, no, I think he'll just be tired. Like, I think he'll just be visibly he'll gassed be in the ring to fans. I mean, the good, the good thing about this is, if if you're not... We could, however, if you get, want, get, get, um, since uh, no, we know... Only, well, since Willie Mac... Only, well, hold on, let me let me explain it. Since Willie Mac's taking the big bump, we know, but we also know he probably doesn't have the stamina to go for the 20 minutes with the other yeah, guys. Let's do a little bit we of could bump. do... Yeah, and then that way it's basically like he gets blasted with the big thing and then he comes back in and ends up getting flash rolled. Oh, did off. you add it though? Yeah, I added yeah. limited involvement. Okay. All right. So before I run the run the show though, I want everyone to understand a uh, zero popularity company. We are brand new. The your initial shows will not do great because part of it's rated off popularity. So right. people have to understand we're basically a brand new company trying to prove itself. All right. I um, didn't think there was going to be so much. But here's the last like, thing. Like behind the scenes stuff. All right. We know we're doing tri-state area. Do you? Yeah. Where in the tri-state uh, area do you want to go? New Jersey. We what about come? the ECW arena? But I don't know. Philly fans gonna suck. What do we got for New Jersey? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Abraham What's Clark High School. Atlantic City Armory. I actually have been there. All right. Do you want to do City. that? Look, 500 only 500 capacity. So it's a thousand dollars. Yeah, we're good. Baby, we're all going right. all. all right. <laughs> Can we have the rock song? What was the rock song for WrestleMania? 
Oh, I don't remember. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I remember that. Wrestling with me. All right, you ready to run this show? Let's run it, baby. Atlantic City, right. you better love also, me. Also, um, storylines. I already set up these storylines for us because I knew what we were doing. So we have the women's uh, title hall uh, where the major people are uh, Kana and Amazing Kong. Uh, the NWA title hunt. Um, this one, which is Alpha Female and Gail Kim. Uh, oh shit, we forgot to do it. I guess we have to open up with that promo do what? for the next show. Do what? No, and oh, we're leaving Alpha I could, Female I could add that now. next week. I could add that now. Right now, we're at 90 minutes of 120, which is the bare minimum. So we actually have 30 minutes extra we could play with in the pay-per-view. Well, I, we have up to another uh, 60 well, why minutes. Why don't we add more shit? We could, but... You know, we're using pretty much yeah, everyone. Well, where's the alpha female yeah, backstage? Yeah, that's the only alpha thing. Alpha female backstage after the stare down. Yeah. And do you want her on mic? Yeah, well, the reporter goes up to her and I said, why did you attack? And then she's just going to talk about how she she's one of the best female wrestlers of all time. She's dominating Japan, dominating, and TNA let her go before she could show. All so right. she's going to take she... out as much TNA talent as she can to show, to prove to the world that she is awesome. Okay, so she's on the microphone. Uh, I'm on the microphone with her. Uh... Yeah, and then if you want us, I thought that Juha Nation is such a big deal. Maybe we should have a video package before his match. Uh, we can do that. Yeah. All right, and then uh, just what do you want me to have the promo say in this thing? Um, just how she she's basically a really bitter wrestler about TNA and how she's fucking dominated and never got a fair shot in TNA. And then she's going to take out all the TNA talent to prove that she's one of the best female wrestlers out there. And she's going to start with the Gail Kim. I mean, you don't have to rate that she We'll just let her fucking say it. She gets... She knows. Alpha female's a fucking... She's a problem. Yeah, we're going to be the type of show that doesn't mind mentioning other companies. <laughs> yeah, we're realistic. Also, all of, a lot of our people still work for those other companies, so it's good in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. We, I don't think we have anyone locked down on uh, exclusive contracts. I don't know. Might be Aaron Epic might be. All right. Uh, oh, is he? I hope so. I want to live in a world where we have Aaron Epic locked down on right. contracts. And then it was Alpha Female. All right. Do you want this scripted? Do you want either of us scripted? Uh, well, you're Cause scripted because we all you're saying, all you're saying is why. Yeah. So it's not like you get. Okay. Fucking so do you want her unscripted or no? I feel like if she's really that bitter, we could let her go. Yeah. Let, right. let, let, let's do let's do this. It's our first show. Let her go unscripted. If it bombs, we write scripts for her from that day on. Okay. All right. Do you want to just give her three you gotta minutes? You just gotta let get her... these athletes a chance to test the water. Because I say we give her like three minutes unscripted and basically just let her have a shoot. She just does a shoot on TNA. All right. And three minutes and good enough Cam. because I think like it could hurt or help the show. Mm -hmm. So we'll know if we'll let her be scripted ever again. Okay. Four minutes, I believe, is the threshold for the ability for that worker to improve their skills as a potential thing that could happen. Do you want to bump it up to four just so that there's That's maybe a, a chance risk, she gets better? We do that. It's up to you. All right, for the record... Then again, I, three I'm, minutes is pretty long for alpha female when I think about it. Yeah, let, let's just keep the way it is. Yeah, but we'll keep... I, I just want... I want, it, I want it to be known that, like, hey, you know, this is... You know, this is happening. All right, so there you go. Okay. Oh, hey, okay. and that actually works out really now, well. Do you want to go from a video package about how great the AWA championship is? Um, or do you think that's hard because you can't put over a title in a video package? You know what I could do, game? actually? Uh, after that segment where... Uh, we could actually either anywhere in here, we could actually, instead of a video package... Uh, we could have me, since I'm a good mic worker, put over um, Uha Nation yeah, in an interview. Yeah, but I'm I'm barely used in the show. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, like, yeah, I'm, yeah. In, so, I'm in so three where, minutes. Where would we put that? We'd have to go somewhere to the NWA title. <laughs> we could he, we could either interview him sometime after the match, like around here, like after Truth or whatever, or we could interview him early in the show as like a hype thing. Like uh, before let me, let me before the, the match, uh, like do, 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 no, we wouldn't want to do it there. Um, do it between women's title tournament match one and Cahagas hype video. Okay. All right. All right. So we're gonna do an interview. Uh, yeah, hype interview. Oh, because we have to get you know he's our Roman Reigns. <laughs> we have to get him over. Oh God, we just fucking ruined his momentum. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on one sec. I'm trying to find the right. All right. Uh, I'm going to change this because we're just, you mostly want me to just be trying to put him over, right? Yeah, yeah. And about Dragon Gate and what All he right. can do. Do we want, what, what do we want him rated on? Or do we want him not rated? Like, because we could always have it just me hyping him up. I well, guess. Or maybe like, can it's we up do to overness? Because we got to help. Yeah. Do you want to? We'll do overness, but that's going off his current popularity, so you understand. All right, well, Which in America is not very popular, you know. You want to go entertainment then? Yeah, we could do entertainment, and then I'll do. Uh, we'll do microphone. All right. Um, interview. Yeah, uh, because do... then you interview, him, and then it goes to a video package at Cahagas. Yeah. Right. And then I think after that, let's run the show. I'm worried that they're fucking th that Jerry O'Neill segment. I'm worried about Alpha Female. There's stuff I'm worried about, to be honest. Okay. But then again, you don't know how the fucking shit's going to go. Plus, the Young Bucks getting injured. You know, because they're going to have an all-out match, and they had a match earlier in the night. So, a lot uh, of shit. You, uh, so, what I'm thinking is... Uh... Rob Sackett does an interview with Uha Nation over his upcoming title shot, placing the, place in the, place in the past, place in the promotion, and putting over his past to move to America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so that people know, fucking hey, this motherfucker, you know what's up. All right, so we'll do all that. Uh, Uha's on screen, uh, and we're trying to get him a minor success or a success. Like, what do you want this to be? Is this storyline-wise, is this a minor success for him or major success or a success? Uh, I don't know. I, I just want him to get over. All right. We're going to say it's a little bit of a minor success. I don't benefit because I'm just putting him over. Uh, yeah. And then I'm more or less while I'm setting it up also. Okay. Hold on. I know what I just did. I'm dumb. Uh, mm. And then there was something I just forgot to do in the last. That's right. All right. Technically, I should be using those little code tags to do things, but we're putting the descriptions in, so I'm just. I, it's easier to do it this way. All right. So, no uh huh. Do you want me scripted or unscripted? Uh, it doesn't matter. I would say unscripted purely because we know. Like, my microphone ratings are good. Like, I'm a 90. All right, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, if he fucks up, he can cover up all of Yeah, all right. And then we'll have to hope I'm not one of those workers that does it. All right, uh... All right. Did it say street pigeon? Yeah, yeah, I forgot <laughs> to fix something. All right, so, um, how long do you want this? Two minutes, three minutes, four minutes? Uh, sure, two, two minutes. Two minutes, all right. And then, um, and that's going to be it, right? Yeah, after that, we just fucking hope and pray people like it. Okay, and then let me... <laughs> Short name, Street Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I forgot we'd done that. Alright, you ready? Moment yeah. of truth. Let's run the show and see what happens. Do you get the joke? Da, da, da. Mo moment of truth. Oh, I hope Terry Funk yells at us. Alright, All right. Jerry didn't do terrible. Uh... Yeah, it says J Jerry did superb working with uh, without uh, a script. You know what? I, I, I'm and he had the crowd in the palm Funk. of his hands. 
I'm gonna say shenanigans, Terry Funk, because you you didn't want that spot. So you're like, oh, that guy that did the job <laughs> I didn't want to do was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, this guy was great. This guy was just he was really good. You guys really nailed it. All right, Terry. But 42, that's that's pretty decent for a guy who has no popularity at all. You know what I mean? Uh, that's good. That's good. Oh, all right. We got the internet imagery. They're supporting all right. us. All right. This match oh, in a belt that had solid in-ring action, but not much in the way of the heat. Uh, the Young Bucks defeated Aaron Epic and Sexy Star in 8.09 when Nick Jackson defeated Aaron Epic by pinfall with a more bang for your buck. What the fuck, Coco Sports? Jerry talking shit gets better right. rating than the all Young right, Bucks. But, but we have good things. So the Young Bucks got really good gimmick ratings. This is something we get to do now. We get to see people's gimmick ratings debut. So right. Matt and Jackson, Matt and Nick, uh, they got an 88 and a 96, really good gimmick ratings. Um, Aaron Epic, the Coco Sports original, believes he's the, you know, he's protected, that he's better than a lot of workers because yeah, yeah, of yeah. his friendship with Dave. Well, I'm explaining it to them too because they don't know about our gimmicks. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Um, Go ahead. Oh, the Young Bucks gimmicks, they're they're the fucking Young Bucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, he got yeah. he got an 84. Um, Sexy Star with the Women's Equality Fighter didn't do as well. She only got a 65. So no, no. she had Creative Freedom, so that's that's part of the risk you take with Creative Freedom. Um, yeah, yeah, so we might have to fucking do it. Yeah, so she didn't do fantastic. Oh, uh, we, I forgot about SoCal Val. We might but, have to get a real referee. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so SoCal Val hurt the, hurt the thing. Um, the fans were upset there wasn't there weren't enough danger spots and they were also upset that the uh intense physicality now we can go to the jerk sheet which will tell us all of the breakdown which is very complex but you'll be able to see in here um well skipping past that a lot of them got penal penalized for not engaging the crowd and for holding back slightly uh, yeah that, that was our fault I, I was playing it too safe referee yeah and like i had thought so our match danger uh, see, level's I'm, too I'm, I'm, I'm low. Getting too, I'm getting too soft in my old age. That's my fault. Mm -hmm. so. so our match danger's too low, and our match intensity is too high. So we're going to have to adjust those after this, because that, that penalty is going to hit all of our matches. Um, uh, our our color com it's fine. This happens whenever you're first starting out. Uh, but our color commentary and our announcing were really good. So oh, Cal Val good. Was, was not good. Um... Some of the crowd was upset that, that it wasn't more dangerous, and it advanced the, the gender equality storyline between uh, Aaron Epic and Sexy Star, and it also yeah. advanced the AWA title hunt storyline as the announced team put over the fact that the Young Bucks made it into the main event. All right, well, we made some mistakes. We're learning. All right. I, 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 now that I look back, I kind of regret it. Because I'm like, maybe she would have had all... Remember I said we should have went all out for that opener, but mm -hmm. then I was worried about the Young Bucks getting hurt. Yeah. Yeah. This one, up. this one went pretty good. Um, I mean, it's 28, but you have to understand they're also, you know, not very popular workers right now because we're a baby company. Um, yeah. But the only penalty it got was just for Sexy Star's gimmick not being liked that much, which sucks. Well, I mean, we're going to have to deal with that for a while until she's ready for, like, the fans wouldn't be pissed about her getting a new gimmick. Um, so she's just going to, that's going to be a penalty she's going to have for a little bit. It sucks, yeah, it's, well, but we, it have, we have so many women, we could just put her on the back burner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to our next match. Oh, wait, no, this is where uh, Mia Yim comes out. She takes over assaulting uh, Sexy Star with Aaron Epping while Truth Martini whispers in the ear of Aaron Epping. Uh, Mia Yim got a 62 on her unwilling heel gimmick, um, and she struggled really bad because uh, someone else wasn't on a script. Oh, that was Truth. Remember, yeah. you said that was going to be a problem. Yeah, I said it might happen. So, yeah, she didn't do well. Truth Martini only got a 58 rating on his uh, oh, fuck. gimmick. Oh, We're really banking on him uh, being more popular than that. Well, no, no, it's okay. You can overcome that. Um, okay. It's just, it does it does give penalties, but you can overcome them. Um, but he did a, re a masterful job improvising. And that advanced uh, that, advanced that one well, story. That, that's, that sucks about Sexy Star, because... One of the next week's matches was Aaron Epic versus her. Oh, yeah, that's fine, though. All we do is we'll put it lower on the card all right. is all. You know what I mean? It's not it's right, not the end of the world. All right, so next we had Kana, Ivelisse, and Mia Yim. Um, the bout had solid in-ring action, but not in much in the way he. I got to learn how to do that. I don't usually do this kind of product. 
Um, Kana defeated Ivalice. It's probably because there's not much story build up to these initial matches. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kana defeated, defeated him at 11.43 when she got a pinfall after landing the Billiken. All right, all right. All right. So, so, so far, we made, a, we, made a, we made a product for wrestling fans, and our promos are doing the best. Yes, but, but we're working up to it. Because um, like I warned you, there's going to be the thing of, you know, popularity effects. And Does stuff anyone like, like pro like, wrestling like, Look at this. Look at the bottom. When looking at your grades, it's very important to remember that you have to take them in respect to your company's popularity and size. A 60% grade would be a horrible score for a main event in a large company, which, oh yeah, that's the other thing. So, our popularity right now is a zero. That means any time our show is rated over a zero, we're going to gain popularity in anywhere that the show goes to. So, we got a 26 I'm compared to, to our rating to of a zero. Like, maybe I should use my lottery money on something else. Well, no, <laughs> think about it, though. We got a 26 as a company that people expect to do a zero. All right, all right. That's good, right? You know? I think so. Sure. All right, so Connor's gimmick did not do fantastically. Oh, um, fuck, Jesus. She got a 57, so we're going to have to overcome that. That's no big deal. We'll overcome right, that. Right, so we have some um, Ivalice, this one's really promising because she's one of our future people. Ivalice, yeah. Devil Advocate uh, gimmick, got a 94. She's like wow. one of our best uh, so far. So, so the Connor project might have to be scrapped for the Ivalice project. Eva Lee definitely her gimmick got over with the crowd. Um, That's awesome. Our announcing was great. SoCal Val hurt the match again. Um, yeah, the same... well, I forgot about all that free yeah. stuff. I just fell in love with SoCal Val. We might have to get. Some... I, tr I tried to warn you. <laughs> yeah, you we did, did make her I think it was one of those things we were gonna fix, and then it got too close to showtime, and we forgot. Oh wait, that's right. We tried to buy a crazy expensive referee, and then we didn't care after that. Yeah, we tried, tried to, to buy Ricky, Ricky Steamboat, Steamboat for fucking thirty thousand dollars. That's right. People were pissed about that. All right, next yeah. match. Oh, okay. This is um where Whoa, I do the. Oh, that's good for you. All right, we're at thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five uh for me doing Uha. So I improvised well. Uha Nation de debuted his gimmick with a ninety rating. Um, that's awesome. And advanced the story. So yeah, I did so, the so interview Kata, with him Kata and I put him over. Uha Nation's shining. Yeah, like I put I put Uha Nation over pretty well. So then, that's definitely Give good. A that's right. Damn, damn, I'm good. All right, and then we had the Kahegas hype package. Uh, Kahegas's unlucky bodyguard gimmick got a 66 rating. Um, so it's not fantastic, not but that's about a C. So I mean, it, even when they're in like that 50 range, just remember that's still a C. It's not the no. worst, but um, it's not the best. Uh, 26. But also, we just wanted to have him have the title and move on. Yeah. Also, you have to remember, gimmick ratings over like 90 are more representative of gimmicks that are just so universally appealing and and catch on huge. Things like Undertaker. Hold on, hold on. It was a pay per view in front of 81 people. New Jersey, you really did not fucking come through. What? No, that's that's oh, amazing. No. Most of my first shows, I only get like 30 to 40 people. 81 really? people on your first night is really, really good. That means you had a lot of interest right out of the gate. Because this is 81 people. This isn't our pay-per-view buys. This is 81 people came to this. All right, all right. That's pretty solid. All right, I'm, I'm panicking a little. Panicking 80, a little. Eight, remember, because we said before, we expect 30 people there. And we get 81. That's, that's almost triple what we expected. Remember when we said we were trying to do two shows or three shows? Yeah. And, uh, well, I have to keep stopping you because you keep you keep shitting on it. You're like, oh, this is terrible. Well, All right. Because we got to have the backstage. Ka Kahagas sucked in this match. That's what it's saying. Kahagas was really off his game. In an extremely poor match, Uha Nation defeated Kahagas um, in 554, 555 with a standing shooting star press um, and won the NWA World Heavyweight title. All right, oh, so... Man. Uha Nation got a bonus for going all out and everything. Uh, the big penalty, yeah, it was Cahagas. Yeah, that, Cahagas that's just couldn't go out. He it, held guys. back. Uh, he didn't handle the pressure of going out all very well. He was inconsistent. Uh, he had bad chemistry for the motivation because he, I guess, he didn't want to lose, so he wasn't that motivated to the match. And he also was penalized for his eight. So basically. Cahagas sucks so much that it hurt the match horribly. Uha couldn't carry Cahagas yeah. through a squash match. Well, Cahagas is just going to be a background character for a long time now. All right, so next match, 26 rating on Truth Martini making his way down to the ring to whisper into the ear Cahagas. Yeah. 
All right, and then we had Gil Kim versus Amazing Kong versus Leva Bates. Um, Gil Kim uh, debuted with a 68. Uh, Amazing Kong debuted with an 80 with her ama avenging angle angel. She doesn't tolerate bullshit. Um, and then Sci-Fi Geek Leva Bates debuted with a 65. Um, and it hit the problems I thought it would. It dragged. Uh, it was too long uh, for yeah. the people in it. So in about I, I mean, is it too long because it, it, they're women, or is it too long because Leva doesn't keep up with the other two, or it's, it's hard it's, to tell? It's we can check all the notes, but it's most likely the Leva thing. Um, but in about that, uh, had a good crowd and some decent in-ring action. Amazing Kong defeated Gail Kim and Leva Bates in 1625 when Amazing Kong uh, defeated Leva Bates by pinfall, uh, pinfall using the ropes for leverage. Goddamn game. All right, so what she the did. Fuck? The, we she, didn't book that shit. She did what the that. Well, we didn't script the match. On program here. We didn't script the match. We just told her she was winning with a pinfall, and she decided that was out. I, so not I, only, I, not I, only I did Alpha Kong come in and in interview. Back. They're <laughs> running their old match days are over. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Alpha uh, Amazing Kong basically just guaranteed she scripted for you. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, but Alpha Female did her run in and tag Gale. Uh, we'll see how that's rated in the segment. Uh, the color commentary did well. The flow hurt the match. Uh, the refereeing hurt the match. And you know, like I said, we're still we're getting tanked our, our on top all priority these. Priority has to be to hire another referee because SoCal Val's getting eaten alive out there. And poor, poor girl's not even a referee. That's true. Uh, also, Gil Kim got better at her in performance skills during that match, so that's good oh, that's too. That's good because we, right. we want to keep her strong. Um, like putting over and then, talent. all right. Uh, Amazing Kong and Gail Kim got punished for holding back because we, because uh, of the the notes we put in there for Leva uh, Bates. Shit. Leva Bates was inconsistent, and yeah, length, uh, length given psychology, limited psychology, uh, workers limited involvement, uh, SoCal Val, yeah, low content risk. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, poor, poor SoCal Val, she's getting into live on the dirt sheets. That's our fault. This, re this is our if best. Anyone does see, if anyone sees SoCal Val, tell her we're sorry. All right. So uh, Alpha Female debuted her bitter TNA knockout gimmick with a 54. Not fantastic. Gil Kim did great improvisation. But look at the rating. Yeah, it got a 46, so Gail Kim, though. We might, it's fine. We might have to make Gail Kim be the number Gail, one girl. Gail Kim and uh, Alpha Female just did really well in that segment, though. Yeah, well, they that's also that rated on, on her menace, too. So they both did really well. Um, that's good. And then Kana uh, and her stare down with Amazing Kong got a 40. Look at the ratings. Yeah. Fuck, the women are doing 40. pretty damn good. Yeah. We get a referee and fucking tighten that shit up. We might have something. All right. uh, and then I interviewed uh, Alpha uh, Female. She didn't do well without a script. Yeah. yeah. We so, learned our lesson. All right. We, 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 let, we let the baby bird fly and it crashed right She into a She did a shoot interview down. and just ended up talking about how much she hated Dixie Carter. And I was like, all right, uh, what about, what about why'd you attack Gail, though? And then it was like, ah, oh, she never got to that. All right, uh, and then our main event, in a bout that had good crowd... I was crowd. expecting it higher. All right, well, we had Willie fucking Mack in it. All right. In a bout that had good crowd and some decent in-ring action, Roderick Strong... We may want to start using dark matches to get the crowd warmed up before our show, so that, uh, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, Roderick Strong defeated Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, blah, 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 uh, et cetera, uh, 20 minutes when Roderick Strong defeated William Mack with a pinfall uh, roll up and during the match uh, Cahagas did run in and attack Matt Jackson of the Young Bucks and Roderick Strong won the AWA World Heavyweight title so Roderick Strong's uh, gimmick of the franchise player got a 77 rating uh, Jay Lethal got a 71 uh, Matt Seidel uh, with his frustrated golfer gimmick because yeah we didn't we expect him to be a main eventer Got forty six. Yeah, we shouldn't fuck around so much. We do fuck around a lot. We did. We did. Um, <coughs> all right. Sorry. Willie Mack took a yeah. Uh, the the flow in the match was hurt. Sorry, we fucked around a bit. Yeah. All right. Basically, yeah. We're gonna have to take they, this they, shit And they were serious. upset that it, the main event didn't have more dangerous spots in it too. All right. So, all right. Um, the match did lift the ground, advanced stories, and then all right. So hold on. Terry Funk has a note for us. I think it's a bad idea to have Matt Jackson taking part in a match, which is being called in the ring. He doesn't yet have the ability. He's going to say this a lot, by the way. So Nick, Matt, Seidel, Willie Mack, uh, he basically said those four guys in that match are not good 
without work. But that means Jay Lethal and Roderick Strong, we can have them call it in ring. They have enough psychology. All right, That's all really right. good. So, so we'll we'll, we'll um, have to start Vince McMahon and this shit. All not right, fucking and, around and taking it more serious and getting a referee. And right, then we, we made some mistakes. We made some mistakes. 23 rating on that, that final segment where they're just celebrating in the ring with Roderick. That's not too bad. Whoa. No, that's not bad. All right, so... And then we go. So, so some of some of the ratings were a lot. Oh better yeah, for... that's great. We increased our popularity in forty regions with this show, because uh, we are on YouTube. So apparently, a lot of people checked us out uh, around the world. We get a final rating of twenty-eight. Not awful, well, considering our size. That's actually yeah, a pretty we, solid we, we show. Yeah, we did make a lot of mistakes. Well, yeah, but considering our size and everything, it's pretty solid. So. Um, but it's the only thing, the thing we worried about the most was like the most successful thing. Yeah. All right, we have unread emails waiting. Uh, oh, are people going to be pissed? Uh, Matt Jackson's feeling the effects of a grueling recent schedule. So is Nick Jackson. Um, yeah, they're all going to be the we take that into account when booking them. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we they're, already they're, know. They're, they're, second show, they're only in a second. Uh, we email them back, or is it kind of like a one-way conversation? No, it's like they're basically just letting us know. Um, so oh. they'll, uh, it's, they'll figure it out. All right, Kenny they King, can do a backstage ooh, segment, right? Yeah, Kenny King left TNA. Right, that's good. He's maybe, just maybe with he's us. Like, you know yeah, what? That left. show was so good. The Kenny uh, King's like, you left me off the card, so now. All, all right. right. Um, all right, now that's really that big a deal. Uh, the buy rates are 0. 0.00, but that's because they're on a massive metric. But I can change that right now. Um, basically, it's 50,000 and 50,000. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. So I'm going to lower this. I'm going to make it. Starting out, I'm going to make it, say, like, a 1,000. And All then, because right. that way we'll be better, better be able to see. All right, and it's not going to update. Anyhow. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, did, do, do, we run, do we run on the same night as Wrestle Kingdom? They mm, said something fourth. Uh, we could actually, that's, thank you for reminding that. So, yeah, uh, Monday Night Raw, they, they drew 95,000 people. They sold out the crowd and everything. Uh, so so the, so we're not cause the Coco Sports stream is not beating him out <laughs> right away. No, but uh, we drew ninety one feedback and uh, ninety eighty one fans, and the feedback was that it's better than you'd expect from a company that small. That's so, fair. That's yeah. fair. Uh, and then nothing else really pertains to us. It's all about other companies. Nothing, nothing we're really worried about. Uh, Cherry Bomb just got fired. All right, all right. So, so all right. we we have a lot of fixing up to do, but and we made some mistakes. Because that's the thing, like you'll sign someone and be like, "Oh, he's just enhancement talent." We'll just and, put the younger guys and over. And they're like, also, "He's a main eventer." Right now, that storyline uh, for the the belt between uh, Amazing Kong and Kana is really going well. It's that at thirty six. Uh, and then the alpha female Gail Kim story is a 32. Alright, so, uh, so the and, females are definitely carrying the yeah. company for a And then the part. AWA title hunt is close behind. And the lowest right. rating are Sexy Star's second lowest and the NWA title hunt second, uh, the lowest. Because uh, Cahaga right. sucks so much. Well, hopefully we'll change it around. Um, so, do we want to go into matches or you want to book off air and then do this again tomorrow? Uh, it's up to you. Time? How do you want to do this? I am going to take a piss, so let's wrap this up and then book off air. Okay. And then uh, we'll come back and book show two next week. And off air, we are going to try to hire a referee. And what else are we going to do off air? Um, I'm going to be adding uh, some people to the stable. Like, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to add some. Oh, wow, that's really good. The stable's got 47 momentum just right out of the gate, just with its oh, first. That's, that's good. first oh, yeah, we got to add Cahagas and Aaron yeah. Epic. So we're gonna add Cahagas. I'm gonna put as a minor member. Uh, yeah, yeah, what do you yeah, want yeah. Aaron Epic as? Major or minor uh, member? Let, let, let's go middle, and we'll see how the There's feud no, with. Aaron. All right, let's we'll do we'll do minor, and if he if he starts yeah, to pick if, up, we'll if we'll the sexy star thing takes off, then we'll do it. We'll, we're gonna give a really short match to him and sexy. Star. Maybe dark match. Okay. Also, I'm gonna change Terry know, we'll Funk we'll so see. that Terry Funk's willing to do promos because it's stupid that he won't. Like, yeah, I'm gonna but that who knows? We found a gem in Jerry. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry did pretty well. Jerry did pretty well. 
Good job, Jerry. It oh. makes up for all the other shit we played about off air for you. <laughs> the fake Jerry is doing awesome. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. We usually do wrestling reviews, but we decided to do this and start having fun with it. I know it's not for everybody, but we're having a lot of fun with it. And a couple on YouTube the first time did pretty decent, so mm -hmm. we'll keep it up because we're, we're having fun. Also, uh, I, hopefully I, I, you I enjoyed it. It's, it's a bit nerdy, but, you know, Cooper Sports has been known to be nerdy from time to time. Also, I want to go ahead and say uh, I want to start a new thing with this. I want to do our own win-loss attire. I want you guys, the Internet Infantry, you tell us if you think the show's rating was fair or not. You tell us if how you would rate the show. Do you think it was a win-loss or a tie? Yeah, yeah. Win-loss or a tie. And there were some mistakes made. And there were some mistakes that we just forgot about. Like the referee yeah. mistake? Nah, that was, that's on us. Yeah, that's and, on, and I mean, we do... All of our matches did take the penalty, both for match danger and match intensity being off from what our people expected. And then, yeah, we had the SoCal Val. So we had three big things that were dinging against all of our matches. So that's going to be an improvement as we adjust those two. And now that we're backseating, we're critiquing ourselves. We usually critique them to critique ourselves. I do regret, especially since the Young Bucks are asking for time off <coughs> anyway, mm -hmm. I do regret not going all out on an opening match. I think maybe we could have swung some people around if we went all out, but... Yeah, maybe. Because they're tired anyway, right? Yeah. So what the fuck? I mean, Willie yeah. Mac, Willie Mac hurt the the main event anyways, so we probably should. Yeah, have. and like, we make up these make believe fucking storylines where like we act like Willie Mac. But to be know, fair, we also had a card where we only had uh, one one on one match. So I mean, we yeah, had a yeah, lot of big. We had a and lot of big matches, which is risky. Originally, the women's matches were supposed to be one-on-one, mm -hmm. but for some reason, we added... People. It was because we, we had so many people we weren't using, and we wanted yeah. to make sure they were involved, but you didn't want to have too many women's matches. Yeah, so maybe we made a mistake there. Yeah. But all that's right. good, though, because next week, you know, we, we, set up, we set the stage for all of our titles, and next week we had a lot of cool shit set up that we're ready to roll with. Yeah, and, and here's the thing, like, um, some of these feuds, because our, our main, our two main goals that I think we're failing at is Kana. I think Kana, I was expecting more. I mean, but the, I, I think did good, you know what I'm saying? Kana mm -hmm. and that, and also, uh, I'm, I'm worried about Yuha Nation. I didn't, I didn't think, I no, thought uh, Kahagis was You have gonna... to keep in mind, Uha's coming in with, with no popularity. He is a nobody to most people in America. So we have to put him over. With, we have to have people putting him over. We have to build up his popularity. And next week we have a new champion. Will mm -hmm. it be Kana? Will it be Awesome Kong? Tune in. <laughs> All, right. all right. Please like, comment, subscribe, and give us your input and all that. Um, Franielli made a suggestion last show, and Franielli, watch show three. Your suggestion will be going into factor. Yeah, you and you will like bombs, it. If it, if it, if it does successful. We'll take credit for it. And if it bombs, we'll blame you. Because we're douchebag wrestling promoters now. Damn straight. All right. So did I say like, comment, subscribe enough? Hey, why don't you tell the internet what they can do for you? Also, yeah, you guys can find me as S-I-D-U-A-K-A-L. Um, I have a YouTube, Twitch, uh, all that stuff. I'm working on making it all better quality and all that. I just There's a lot of fine-tuning settings and stuff that I don't know a lot about. I'm learning all that. Also, it's, it's, like, it's, a learning, it's a learning experience, so please, uh, we really appreciate it. And, uh, and yeah, show us. and I'll get back to you guys' comments, and yeah, we would love to have feedback on this. Uh, we have a lot of fun doing it, and if you guys are enjoying it too, then that's that's all I care about. Yep, So, and we're hoping to make a lot more content for the channel. Mm -hmm. Alright, so like, comment, subscribe, check out CocoSports.net, and with that, I am over. Boop, boop, boop.